Welcome back to Cheddar's opening bell. If you feel like you're seeing more people running outside nowadays, you're not alone. Sidewalks and streets in different cities around the country are being filled with runners as many gyms are still closed. For more on this, we're joined by Jim Weber, CEO of Brooks Running. Jim, Brooks saw 49% global growth in the third quarter. How much of that business came from first time runners? Good morning, Jill. Thanks for having me. You know, what a roller coaster this year has been, and everything froze at retail in March, but we saw a signal starting in April that people were going out the door and running. We've seen, I think, 1.6 million new runners this year into our brand alone. So there's no question that even with our sports shut down, we think more people are running than ever before. It's exciting for us in a very difficult and challenging year for everybody, but running is making the cut. In terms of, of growth that you're seeing, do you think that this will keep up even post pandemic when people go back to the gym? You know, it's interesting. We've seen this before in challenging times economically in the Great Recession in 2008 and 2009. People went out and ran. Um, it became part of what their life was going to be in those difficult times and they stuck with it. So we think this is actually the beginning of a new running boom. Next year, hopefully when our sport opens back up from 5Ks to the Olympics and marathons and group runs, we think that's gonna be a turbocharger to the growth that we're seeing now, Jill. So yeah, it's, it's an exciting time to be in running um, because I think the future's bright for our sport. So many marathons and half marathons and races had to be canceled this year. Um, as a marathon runner myself, I was extremely disappointed but understood why the New York City Marathon was canceled. How do you keep experienced runners motivated when you don't have these really big events? You know, I think it's a, the biggest challenge out there is for the experienced runners that, that are used to training with a group of friends or having a race, a goal sitting out there in front of them to motivate them every day. Now, you know, I think what's keeping people out there is literally the mental benefits. We all know the physical benefits and the like, but taking a part of the day and getting outdoors, getting some fresh air and moving it is just such a key part of staying healthy uh, in this environment that we're in right now. So even without those specific goals attached to a race, and certainly there are virtual races, the Strava-like communities are creating engagement digitally for people, um, which, is, which is a substitute to a point. But I, I think, you know, once races come back, hopefully mid next year or may, uh, certainly late fall, we're hoping um, you can have that social experience with your friends as well. So Under Armour has launched a new app and they're expanding their online and digital presence. Any plans for, for Brooks to do the same just in terms of, of getting people online and tracking their running? Mm -hmm. It's happening, right? We've been investing in the digital engagement side of, of connecting with runners and running communities for years. And so that's a key part of this. And there are lots of tools um, that people are using uh, like Strava to stay connected. So we partner and, and are engaged with many of those, but at the core running is a human experience. It's fundamentally a local human experience. It's not digital or virtual. And, and so that's the experience that we're really trying to hopefully inspire and, and support along the way. But digital connection, if, if your run uh, wasn't tracked on your Garmin or Strava, did it happen, is a classic. <laughs> um, but it's fundamentally, it's a, it's a great active human experience for each person out there. And, and that's really what we're focused on. It's very rewarding too, to be able to then go and look at where you ran and be able to you know, calculate all of your miles. I know that Brooks Running is a subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway. How valuable is it to have the advice of someone like a Warren Buffett? You know, it, ownership matters. We think it's probably our uh, significant competitive advantage for us because we've got so much support from Warren and Greg Abel and everyone at Berkshire to build this brand, to focus on the customer, focus on the runner. We've been doing that for 20 years and, and, and it's really what's, I think, given us an advantage in this very, very competitive space. So we're playing uh, for the long haul here and uh, it's great to have Berkshire Hathaway support. All right, um, Jim Weber, CEO of Brooks Running. So great to have you on, really appreciate it and love that there's so many new runners out there, it's great.